Today I'm breaking down a few tips to baby proof your home. Let's go. Hey guys, Andrew here with Dad Verb, where we chat fatherhood and share our thoughts on family related products. Now, baby proofing your home is more than just buying a few products, there's some lifestyle adjustments that you need to make. And uh, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to Dream Baby for providing all the gates, latches, and locks that you might be seeing in this video. I reached out to them, they obliged. So thank you to Dream Baby. Everything that you will see in this video will be linked down below. Baby proofing doesn't have to happen on day one, right when you bring the baby home, but around month five or so, when the baby's a little bit more mobile, you're going to want to have it done. Tip number one, crawl around. One great way to start is by getting on your knees and crawling as your baby would. You'll have a new perspective and notice danger spots like loose cords. Now, for example, in our home, we have these white ends attached to our door stops that Henry could easily pop off and choke on. Had we not crawled around, it's not something we would have easily noticed. Tip number two, cover those outlets. Getting the obvious out the way, outlet covers are a great way to protect babies from accidentally jamming something in there and electrocuting themselves. If you'd rather cover the outlet altogether, Dream Baby has full covers that can be installed and painted to blend in with the wall. Number three, secure furniture to the wall. Do not ignore this. You'd be surprised how fast a baby can open up drawers, use them as a ladder, and injure themselves when it gets top heavy. Don't ignore those safety kits that come with Ikea or Wayfair furniture. Uh, you have to use them. And that also goes for TVs that aren't mounted to your wall. Tip number four, watch out for those corners. Consider picking up a few corner bumpers for coffee tables and shelving that the baby can get access to. A baby losing his footing and bumping his head onto a corner is not fun. And talking about shelving, uh, we just leave some of our shelves empty so Henry doesn't ruin things of value. Hiding some home decor might be something you want to consider early on, especially if some of the decor is of sentimental value. You don't want the baby getting at it and then ruining it. Tip number five, get some gates. Whether it's for your stairs or your kitchen, gates are probably gonna be your best bet to prevent your little one from straying into danger. Now, there are a wide variety of gates, pressure mounted, accessory mounted. For us, we're fond of pressure mounted gates with a hinge for easy opening and closing. Dream Baby's Chelsea gate is crazy sturdy and we've got three of these all around our house. Next tip, get clean. Now this is fairly straightforward, but super underrated. Coins, paper clips, cat food, even plants. If it's on the ground, the baby's gonna try and eat it. So go ahead and take those plants, get it on higher ground, and try to stay clean, guys. Also, cords from irons, computers, and lamps are super tempting for a baby to tug at, only to have something heavy come crashing down on them. So if you can, step up your game when it comes to tucking cables. A Blue Lounge cable organizer might come in handy. Tip number seven, organize the bathroom and kitchen. It might be smart for you to get a toilet guard so that the baby doesn't play on that porcelain throne. Also remember to keep hot tools, razors, cleaning products, medicine, all those products up high or in a locked cabinet. And speaking of locks, it's a great idea to grab some of Dream Baby's locks and latches for your cabinets and drawers. Not just for the bathroom, but the kitchen as well. Really, I can keep going with more lifestyle and safety tips, but I think this is a good stopping point and a great general launch for baby proofing your home. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And for more vlog and reviews just like this one, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless guys, later.